This video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you're new to the whole DeX situation, basically it's a feature on recent Galaxy S and Note phones that provides you with a desktop-like interface when plugged into a monitor. Hi everyone, Tao here. As someone who has a desktop PC and a laptop, I still find myself being drawn to the concept of my phone doubling as a computer too. It might not be the most practical, but you gotta admit, it's pretty cool. I've essentially created a whole second workspace with my Galaxy Note 10 Plus as the computer. This is where I'll escape to when the creative juices just aren't flowing at my desk. Sometimes a change in scenery works wonders for productivity. Since I've been spending more and more time with Dex, here are five unique and helpful tips you should try. The first one is for those of you who own a Galaxy Watch. I'll often have a movie or YouTube video playing in the background when I'm doing chores around the house. And because Dex runs off the phone, you can actually use the music app on the watch to control media playing off your phone. So from the music widget, just hit this watch icon and voila, you now have a remote control on your wrist. It's nice because let's say I need to leave the room to grab a drink or use the washroom. I can hit pause, do my thing, then hit play once I get back. One of the things that made Dex feel less desktop-like for me is the fact that you can only play audio from one source at a time. I know it may sound unnecessary, but just hear me out. I'll often watch short video clips on social media or while just browsing the web. But when I do, it automatically stops any music, podcast, or audiobook I have playing in the background. This means I now have to go back into the app and hit play to resume. Do that constantly and it gets tedious real quick. The solution is to use an app called Sound Assistant, which has a feature called multi-sound, letting you play audio from more than one source. Once toggled on, I can watch clips on say Twitter and it doesn't interrupt what I have playing in the background. Once again, it's called Sound Assistant. Check it out. And while you're at it, you should also check out today's video sponsor, Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of videos to help you develop creative and practical skills. Whether your interest is in photography, animation, marketing, or maybe you want to start a YouTube channel, you can find videos on all those topics and so much more. Get in touch with your creative side, discover a whole new passion, or learn something new like me. I've taken a bunch of photography classes in hopes of one day being able to snap photos like a pro. So watching videos and acquiring top-notch advice from professional photographers like Brandon Wolfel has helped me get closer to that goal. I've always been a firm believer that creativity is the greatest form of self-care, and Skillshare creates an environment just for that. The best part of Skillshare is that it's super affordable, with an annual subscription for less than $10 a month. So the first thousand of you to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Can I run multiple instances of Microsoft Word or Excel side by side? Has to be the question I get the most when it comes to Dex. The short answer is no. Thankfully, there is a workaround. The trick here is to install both the Microsoft Office app and the individual Word plus Excel apps on their own. Having both allows you to open one file in the Office app and another in the actual Word or Excel app at the same time. Now you can do side-by-side -side edits or refer to a second document as you work. Keep in mind that although Word and Excel are very capable here, these are still the mobile versions. The first thing you'll likely do once you start up Dex for the first time is to load up your favorite apps only to be disappointed that they aren't really optimized for the larger screen. Although this isn't the case for most Google and Samsung apps, the trick is to use the browser for everything, just like you would on a traditional computer. Samsung internet seems to offer the best experience for me. Just look at the difference between Twitter through the app and on the browser. I think most would agree it's just a way better experience through the browser. As someone who lives inside of Google Drive with Docs and Sheets for work, I was so surprised how close the experience was through the Samsung browser. It honestly feels like the experience on a full-blown computer. You even have Google Keep, Task, and Calendar integration 
off to the right here, which is so helpful. Throw in the ability to open multiple windows for side-by-side -side editing, and you've got a really great experience through Dex. The final tip is tucked inside the Dex settings under mouse slash trackpad. Toggling on flow pointer to phone screen lets you move the mouse from the external display to the phone's screen. It also doesn't matter which side of the display your phone is set up on because there's a setting for that. I personally like having notes open on the phone so I can quickly refer to them or jot down anything that comes to mind. Even if your phone's screen times out, just sliding the mouse over to it will wake it back up. It's not the largest second screen, but the ability to have info available at a glance is handy. Reading the comments on my previous Samsung Dex videos, I was really surprised to see the interest and just how many of you actually use it on a regular basis. I'm not going to be replacing my PC with a Dex only setup, but outside of probably video editing, most of the work I do on the computer, I have been able to get done with this setup. The star of the show is definitely a portable monitor. I've tested quite a few and this is easily one of my favorites, mainly because of the matte finish, which helps with fingerprints plus glare and the fact that it has a built-in battery. Although it only lasts for about four to five hours or so, being able to move freely around the house is great for those quick spontaneous work sessions. It also serves double duty as a great display for the Nintendo Switch without the need for the dock. Anyways, I hope you found at least one of these tips helpful. And don't forget to check out Skillshare by clicking the link below. I promise you won't regret it. As usual, thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.